Hey there, everybody. It's Tanya at Hummingbird Paintery. It is Friday night at 6 p.m. Central, and I'm going to do a cross and a lamb tonight. Miss Pat wanted me to do a cross, so this is what I'm going to do tonight. And if y'all have any suggestions on anything that y'all would like to see, then please let me know in the comments. Um, and also hashtag replay if you see if you do not see the live button up at the top of the page for tonight. So um, happy Friday, everybody, and I hope you'll come on and watch me and see my project today. And I see some people on, but I don't see any comments yet, so I will wait for the comments. And hopefully y'all have had a good Friday today. I went down and saw my friend Lee at the Turquoise Valentine, and she gave me that gift that I showed y'all earlier. Hey, Diane, Miss Peggy, and Michelle, how are y'all doing? Hey, Opa, it's good to see you. Thank you for being here. Hey, Miss Margaret, it's good to see you. I had a great day. Thank you. Thank you for painting the page. Hey, Miss Jerry, how are you doing? So, I've got a couple of colors, and I don't know which one to use. I got two different kind of uh, ribbon to put across the cross, and I don't know which one to do. This one's kind of a mauve color, kind of a rose or a purpley color. Hey, Miss Terry. Hey, Miss Nancy. Thank you for painting the page. Hey, Miss Vicki. Appreciate that. So, we have our little lamb right here. We have a cross that came from, I think, the Dollar Tree. And this came from the Dollar Tree also. It's just a bottom here for our whole thing. And I've got two little, um, what are these things called? Like building things um, from the Dollar Tree. It was in the small package. These aren't the large ones, which I probably should have gotten a large one. Hey, Miss Patricia, it's good to see you. Thank you for being here. So, and I've got some flowers that I thought were pretty from Walmart. Yeah, purple, the purple rose. Yep, sort of like that. It sure is. Hey, Miss Dreama, thank you for painting the page. I appreciate it. So, I want to paint this whatever color that y'all like. If it's going to be yellow or it's going to be the rose color or the purpley rose color. So, I'm kind of leaning towards the purple because it shows up. The lamb's going to be white. Purple ribbon. <laughs> okay. Hey, Deanne. It's good to see you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for painting the page, Virginia Tanner. You like the rose? I do, too. I like the yellow, but it's going to be terrible for the bottom, I think, to be yellow. So, I think we'll do it for another project. And we'll use the rose for this. So, I did get kind of a, this isn't exactly the same color, but it's similar. And it's got a purpley tint to it. You like purple too? Okay, so I'm just going to paint this first. This is kind of a, a lilac color. And I'm going to do that. Let me get this blue out of this. Because I was doing, I've been doing a couple things just sitting here waiting on the time. Since I was off. Hey, Miss Janet. Hey, um, Manny, if you're here. All right, so we're going to do the purple. All right, I'm going to do it all the way around on the sides and everything. That way it'll dry real good before we have to put the cross on and all of that. And I had to use it because that piece is not big enough to screw on the bottom of this. So I have to make sure that that I put something behind it so it'll hold it secure enough with the glue. And this will be pretty. I was trying to find my old cross that I did last year. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Beware sportswear. All right. And um, I tried to do it, but I couldn't find it. I don't know what I did with it. So I couldn't use that. I was going to use like a Easter lily that I had made. I didn't actually buy any. I don't usually buy those, but I guess I should just get one little stalk of it just for projects like this. Okay, so this is going to be the purple right here. I'm going to dry it, and then I might have to do another coat. So let me, before I rinse it out, I'm going to just dry it real quick. Hey, Miss Lucille, it's good to see you. Thank you. I like my shirt. It's still chilly here. It's gone back cold again in the 40s. So, 
so I'm having to, hello, so I'm having to um, put a sweater on over it because I'm, I'm, I'm cold. <laughs> I had the heater on underneath me, but I didn't want to have it on during the live because it makes, makes a noise. But it's not too bad anyway. If I get cold, I'll turn it on. All right, let me take this and move it over here because we don't want to get anything. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you, Miss Fawny. Did you do anything fun? All right. So this is pretty dry. I can still see a little bit of, you know, this. See how it, you can kind of see it. But that doesn't bother me. I don't think I'm going to worry about that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paint this little lamb white. And we're just going to paint the front and the back and everything. <laughs> Did y'all do anything today? Some people may have worked. I was so happy to be off. I just went down to Lee's and... I went to Walmart real quick to get some ink because I needed ink. Tell you, I use a lot of ink. Even the black just to mail stuff. Manny had a little lamb. Manny had a little lamb, little lamb. <laughs> That's funny. So he did a, ma a lamb too? That's funny. Well, Miss Pat asked for this. She she didn't ask for a lamb, but she asked for a cross. And so this is what I'm going to do with it. I'm trying to get kind of close there. Instead of Mary had a little lamb. Manny had a little lamb. <laughs> what kind of printer do you have? You're looking for one. I've got an HP printer. It's pretty good for a cheap one. The ink is just expensive. I ended up spending $70 for the black and the colored cartridge at Walmart. But it does, if you get the one with XL on it, it does give you a lot more prints. And it has lasted for a long time. So I kind of, I didn't believe it at first. I was like, yeah, sure, it's more. I know it's more, uh-huh. But it really is more. It's kind of a lot more. So that XL does work if y'all try to get that. It really does give you a lot more. I'm going to get just a little bit more on the back here. I'm not going to put as much. Try not to. I make such a mess on the top of these bottles. Then we'll try to dry it some. Yeah, it's much better. Covers with two coats. Let me look at the front again. Your hubby just bought a cartridge. Oh, a Canon wireless printer for $39 at Walmart. Well, that's not bad. But I bet the ink for it's a lot. It's not the printer that's expensive, it's the stupid ink. <laughs> the ink is just ridiculous. All right, let me dry this. I got my fingerprints right here. Let me cover those up some. Hey, Daryl Bowman, how are you doing? Good to see you, thank you for being on here. Yeah, printers are expensive. Well, the ink is, anyway. Alright, thanks to Linda Creedon. Thank you for those stars. You're so sweet. 
Um, I've got one of these gator things. I do have one somewhere, but I don't know what I did with mine, so this came at a good time. That's the truth. The ink is very expensive. It is. I'm going to take this and just go around the edge because I want it to look a little rustic. So I'm just doing it this way. I probably should have painted it a different color on the bottom, but it's okay. I'm going to do it this way. I just want it off the edge, just on the front. All right. So there's the lamb. And I'm going to take just a very tiny bit of the brown. And I'm going to go on the edge to kind of make the face a little bit. Me and my brown. It's about time that I get new brown. But there's still a bunch in here. Be safe. Yeah, I know. Um, I'll get that afterwards unless Miss Pat is here. And she can get it for me. So, don't worry about it because it'll be gone. I just want to do one little bitty bit right there to show the head and the body is two different things. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Lucille. I'll take care of it afterwards. So I'm kind of going to do a little bit of an ear right here. And then I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And just a little bit on the head, just like that, okay? Just to make it a little bit different. And I'm going to go ahead and do the body the same way. Thank you, Miss Diana. All right, so let me get some more brown here. I don't want too much. You don't want it too much. And I'm just going to take it and go around the edge just a little. Like this. I just basically wanted it a little bit. Just to show the edges. Need a little bit of water, but just barely. There we go. And I'm gonna cut a little bit on that edge. Alright, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Now, I'm not gonna make a face for him. I'm just kind of going around the edge a little bit. And just letting it be. I might put just a little bit of pink in the ears. And I went ahead and I, I um, put some stain on the back and the sides of this. You don't have to do that. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. And I'm going to let this stay over here for a minute while it dries a little bit in my little pieces. And I'm going to take this and move it over here. And so I got this big old roll of embossed print here, wallpaper, and I wanted to use this to cover the, the cross, okay? And I thought this was pretty, the big little thing in the middle, right here, the big one, okay? So I'm going to put this right where I want it. It's not going to be perfect, and it's not even going to be... I mean, you could do it lower if you wanted this little thing right in the center. I don't know if I should do it that way. 
I can't go too far because I, I cut part of it off, so it's really not going to be right. So I'm just kind of doing it from here to here at the points. So let me just see how that is. I'm going to take a pencil. Let me make sure I got it right in the middle. That way it's straight and it's pretty much... Where's my pencil? Here's my pencil. Hey, Miss Gail Chandler, how are you doing? So I'm going to take this and we're just going to go on the outside here. And I'm going to cut it out. And that way I can put it right on top. We can Mod Podge it on there. And I'll get to see what it looks like. I don't know exactly. But with this one being kind of big... There we go. And it's pretty. It's pretty like that. It's not the best in the world, but I can use this other for something else. So I'm just going to take this and I'm going to cut this straight up here. That way I can use this for something else and I can also use the other side. I did just cut a piece off and then we'll cut it because it would be easier to deal with. Hey, Miss Pat Tyner, how are you? Turn the cross the other way. Yeah, I could, but it's the same way because it's a round thing on the back, on the bottom. So it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It's not any different one way than the other. Hey, Miss Robin, thank you for being here. I'm gonna kind of go right on the line. And then we will mod podge this bad boy on there and see how pretty it looks. And I'm not going to paint it. I'm going to stain it to make it look like wood. And I remember when I used to visit my ex-husband's mother-in-law, or stepmother, I mean, not mother-in-law, and... She had some of this on her wall, so she's one of the first people I've ever seen do this. But I'm going to do this for this. Just staining it. It made her bathroom look so pretty. She did her bathroom like that with this kind of wallpaper. It's really pretty. All right. So now I've got some other pieces. If I want to emboss anything, I can do that later. Okay, so this is actually the back. I had a great day. Did you have a good day, Miss Robin? A good Friday? Let me see what did I do with the Mod Podge. And here it is. I'm going to shake it up and open it up. And let's see. I'm going to just use this one because it doesn't have anything on it. And we're just going to use the Mod Podge here. Now, I did take something and put in the little hole right there so it would be all one solid thing and it wouldn't have that hole. And I don't know if that'll make any difference or not. want a good amount of it to hold it on there pretty good. Done two Mod Podge things and I don't usually Mod Podge lately. All right, let's see. And this is good. Hopefully I'm going to have a lot on here. And then I'm going to take that little sander and do the edges. Let's make sure I got it all on here. And I did pretty good. But of course it's not perfect. See that? But I'm going to take the, the little gator thing and do it. I'm going to turn this around so I can use the other side better. This is really a cool little thing. 
Thank you, Linda, if you're on here. There we go. Oh, wait a minute. Right at the edge. There we go. Thank you, Miss Gloria. Hey, Miss Penny, how are you doing? All right. So let's see. Let me see if I can do this. This is a little bit different than regular paper. But it's pretty good though, look at that. Where did I get the sander? From Miss Linda Amato Creedon. She sent it to me. Which I have one, but I just don't know where it's at. Isn't that terrible? You buy something and then you like leave it somewhere. Walmart. Walmart has them. She said Walmart has them. I've never noticed them at Walmart. In the paint section, Miss Opa. All right, let's see. Yeah, it looks better if you do it downward. This is, like I said, a little bit different. It's a little bit thicker. Yes, ma'am, in the paint department. There you go. There's your answer. pretty but you do have to just keep going down it does a lot better look at all that mess right there yeah you need to get one because it gets into little crevices and stuff I like this thing I didn't know if I'd like it or not I do I do like it Tomorrow is our event, so make sure that you come to that. You got replacements with different grids on Amazon. Yeah, I got mine at Amazon. I didn't get it at... It's okay. Oh, my goodness. Peggy, you go to them. Make sure they're okay. Let me know. I'll be praying. Okay. Got one little section right here and right here to do, and then we'll be done with this part. Goodness. Yeah, I pray she's okay, too. One more point here. I did everything I did. So just one little, ooh, that part came apart. Look at that. But it is Dollar Tree. I guess that's, let me see. <coughs> yeah, be careful when you're trying to sand because here I am going to town and this is a Dollar Tree item. There we go. All done. You just have to hold it. Look how pretty. Like that. Let me get my little bug here. My little ladybug. Get all this junk up. This is the best thing since sliced bread right here. This little ladybug. So if y'all don't have one of these, you need one of these and you need one of these. Because <laughs> it's awesome. All right, 
So now I've got it all sanded down. And what I'm going to do is take a baby wipe. And I'm going to put this. I've been using this already for something else while I was sitting here waiting. You have a lady, but I know. Do you know that I bought another one just in case it broke or something? Because I just couldn't help myself. So I have an extra one over here to the side just in case. I can't help it. You know, if something happened to that, I would really be upset. And it did quit on me the other day, and it was because the battery was run down. And at first, I about had a heart attack because I thought, oh, no, even though I have an extra. All right, so what I'm going to do is take this. We're wanting it to look wood grain. So I'm going to take this like this and rub it across here. And I like the way this looks. And like I said, I've already seen this before. When I was like in my 20s and she did this, I was very impressed. But it makes it look so pretty and like it's wood instead of wallpaper. So I want to get a good amount on here and then I want to take some of it off. I want it a little bit darker. I don't want it to be real light. Here we go. You have to just play with it a little bit to see what you want. I don't want too much in there. But I want it to be wood, wood grain. Looking. All right, let me dry that and then let's try a little bit more. I want a little bit more on there. I want it to come out a little bit. Then you could Mod Podge the top of it if you wanted to. Now let me see here. I think that's going to be good. Let's try that. And it looks wooden. Kind of stone looking. I know. It's, it looks like stone or wood or something. It just looks like a medallion type of thing. It does kind of look stone too. You just have to get it just right. Let me see here. Let me wipe my hands, wipe my table. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Let's just see. I'm going to lean this right there. I say I am. There we go. What do y'all do on Friday nights? Do y'all just watch crafters or do y'all do anything with your families? What do y'all do? Anything fun? All right, drying this. Dry, dry, dry. Let me dry it. You're here. Hey, Miss Carol. How are you doing? Thank you for coming on. So this is what it looks like. Isn't that cool? It kind of looks like would you been. 
here yourself you so you craft that's good I usually just stay home on Friday nights I'm not one to go out what crafter I actually watch crafting and TV however basketball has ruined my TV night oh goodness went to dinner with my daughter that's a nice thing miss Robin I've been work on Saturdays, so Friday nights are just another night to you, Miss Patty. I'm sorry. Love it. Thank you so much. Okay, so we've got this. This is the base. And I'm going to, let me see what kind of flowers. I'm going to use this, okay? And where I'm trying to look for these little boogers. Now, I put these, I'm going to do them just like this. That way it gives it more of a bottom to be able to glue on. It does look like would you bin. It does. It looks like would you bin with that when you stain it. All right, so I'm going to take these and I'm going to put them right here at the bottom. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of glue. She gave me some of that, too. She gave me some, some glue. All right, so I'm going to try to just put some of dabs of this. This right here is kind of messy, and I sure don't want to get it on me, but it's the super glue also. And I'm just going to use a little dab of this as well. And then we're going to just put them on here. Now I want to set it up because I want to make sure that they are straight. So see, it could almost stand itself, but of course it's not going to. Organizing your craft area and get overwhelmed and then ate some ice cream. Hey, that sounds like a better thing. <laughs> yeah, I love me some ice cream. I have to say that <laughs> for sure. Ice cream wins. <laughs> All right. So, let's see here. And Let me get my little lamb. The lamb's going to kind of be at an angle. And then we're going to have this about right in there see here it's gonna be like that so let me just look at it a sec all right so I want it about right there so I'm gonna use some super glue gel and I'm gonna put on the bottom of it I'm gonna put one little dot so I know where the corner of that is so I know what to do I'm gonna just put it on here I think one little dot, two little dots, and three since that came out. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Then I'm going to put this right here and just do a little dot all the way across. So it's going to make that smell. So just be careful. All right. So this goes right at the corner here. And I'm going to set it here and hold it for a second. Thank you for the hearts. You love it. It's really pretty. I'm going to get some of this right off the edge here. Just one little booger. There we go. The back didn't do that, but the front did just a little bit. But you're not going to be able to see it because of the lamb. Alright. And same thing for the little lamb. I don't want it to come off of the base here. Hey, Maria! How are you doing? It's good to see you tonight. All right, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to do it right in the middle here. And then put this back up. Hey, Gloria, thank you for those hearts. Thank you for painting the page. All right, so I'm putting a little bit here and then a little bit right there. So then I'm going to glue this on here. I'm going to do it at an angle. Just make sure you don't put your little lamb off of the edge here. This is the perfect base for this. It is from Dollar Tree. The uh, cross is from the Dollar Tree. And, of course, I painted, I mean, not painted, I cut out the lamb, okay? And then now we're going to use some of this, all right? So I've got one, both sides kind of cut to an angle. So we're just going to see how this sits on here. There we go. And I kind of like it down a little bit. Let me cut it right here. And then I'm going to show y'all. There we go. 
So I like it like that. Now I've got this, and I'm going to put a few little flowers on here. But here's the, here's what it looks like right now. Okay. So I just wanted to put a few flowers. I do not want to put too many because you just don't want to. But I just figure it looks kind of plain. So we're going to cut some. Let me just see how I got here. Let's see. I'm going to take one off because I don't think we're going to need any more than that. I don't know if I want to put some back here. I don't know. I wanted to put a couple of, in front of the lamb. But some of these little things look funny to me, so I don't know. Let me see which one looks the best. I don't know. They all look about the same. So let me cut another one and just see. I'm going to cut this part off. Hmm. Let me see. This one has the um, tag on there. I want to cut that off for sure. Hey, Miss Linda. I'm using some of your stuff. Little gator thing. All right, let me see here. All right, what does that look like? And it doesn't have to be the one right here. We could take a couple of them off and just do a couple in the back. What do y'all think? It kind of looks funny with that sticking out. Let me see if I cut some off. Let me just take this part off. Cut this off. I want it to be too much. I just wanted a little bit. Yeah, I kind of like two. If you use tape instead of glue to hold the ribbon, you can change it to white ribbon to go for lint. Oh. I didn't think about that. I'm just going to let it hang there. I'm not going to. You could change it out. Thank you. I don't think I'm going to glue it down at all. Now I'm going to take some hot glue for right here. And I'm going to stick this on the back here. And just kind of push this in. Let me do it with this instead of my finger. That looks a little better. Now for this... Let me do the back. It's all. Let me see if I can cut this in the middle. Cut part of this off. Hmm. I think I'm just going to put a couple down in the back. Let me hold this with the and then we're just going to go back in here like this. And I'm just going to put this one kind of like that. So let me cut part of this off because I don't like it. So I'm just putting a little bit. Ouch. <laughs> don't, don't get your finger. All right. So just a little bit, okay, to give it something. But see, this is just hanging here. I'm not going to do anything. I'm going to put the ribbon right here, and this one will just kind of sit like that. So it looks pretty like that, I think. Y'all like that? Give me some hearts if you do. Thank you, Miss Terry, Miss Diane. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you for the hearts. Thanks, Miss Michelle. How are you doing? Miss Opa, thank you. So I think it turned out pretty cute, right? So I like it. Thank you, Diane, for those stars. Thank you, Robin. You think I need to make a dozen? Well, these are at Walmart. I mean, not Walmart, but Dollar Tree all the time for this. It's just that the the um, cross isn't always there. 
I have a couple of them because I bought like two or three, but I don't have a whole lot. Thank you, Vicki. Thank you, Gail. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Pat. Thank you for the stars, Maria. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to be on tomorrow at... Is it noon? I think I'm on on noon. Because the thing starts and I think I have an hour. Thank you, Melissa. I'm so glad. How are you doing? And Virginia Tanner. See, I just didn't want to overdo it with the flowers. I just think it needs a little bit of something. Thank you so much. You love it? I love it too. I think it looks really pretty. It's not a dark purple, but it'll do. I think I like it. I couldn't find ribbon that was thicker, so it would look like a piece of material. And I didn't have any material that was that color, because I don't use this color a whole lot. Thank you, Vicki. Y'all are so sweet. So I will be on tomorrow. I have posted that. And it is an event. And I'm going to do It's a whimsy event. So I'm doing something whimsy and cute. And y'all go eat some ice cream. <laughs> I know. Ice cream sounds good. Even though it's cold outside. If I go out there, I don't want any. Thank you, Patricia. Y'all have a good evening, and I'll see y'all tomorrow. I think it's at noon central, so check where I posted. Thank you, Ms. Opa. Love you too, guys. Bye.